For more, let's chat uh, to a leadership expert, that's uh, Dr. Mazwe Majola. He joins us on the desk now. Uh, good afternoon, Doc. Always a pleasure having you on the SABC News Desk. Good day. Thank you. Thank you. Doc, well, it has been a tumultuous couple of months for the Democratic Alliance. Um, what do you think will be the impact of the mounting scandals that this party has uh, experienced? Uh, and it's a party that's always prided itself on ethical leadership and morality yeah. and so on. Um, never coy about fault finding with other leaders, of course. Yeah. Well, it has been a, a, a turbulent uh, times for DA since uh, when was, was it uh, November? Mm. Uh, sometimes October, November last year. Well, actually, since the exit of Musi Maimane, mm. uh, we, we haven't seen. It has been quite a mute organization. We mm. haven't seen any things happening there really. Uh, even the the interim leader, John Stenhazen, has been very silent and passive leader. Mm. Nothing much has taken has taken over other than these. Uh, obviously uh, internal problems uh, uh, about uh, whether it's the losing the Johannesburg Metro mm. and also the, the and losing the, the, the Nelson Mandela Bay and also the problems they are facing uh, with regard to Twane. So unfortunately there's been uh, quite uh, turbulence uh, mm. times for them in terms of uh, problems. Mm. Yes, uh, they need to, to, to send a, a clear message uh, to the public as far as uh, the, 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 the Tswane uh, mayor is concerned, yes. Stephen. Yes. Uh, because the AES has been uh, like an authority on, leadership, on ethical leadership. Mm. So they will always want to show people uh, that or, or demonstrate that whatever they say, uh, they can practice mm. it. Uh, but in, yeah, it has been a quite uh, pro yes. I mean, unfortunate a problem yes. for them. Yeah. Just on mm. the point of Stian Hayes, and you mentioned him now, for mm. all the DA's promises mm. and vocalizing mm. we've heard over the years around their commitment to non-racialism, uh, non they still have today a white male at the helm of their party. And I just want to talk about this for a moment, the optics of that and the impact on the public consciousness. Because, uh, of course, a good leader, we know, can come in any color. Uh, but is the DAA at this point failing to project the image of non-racialism? Well, the, the DA is really confronted with a huge quandary mm. or, or conundrum uh, because the... the, the after the elections, they attributed their loss or their bad results uh, solely on, on Musi Maimane. On Musi yes. Maimane, and also that they lost uh, many uh, potential mm. or their members to uh, Freedom Front Plus. Mm. Now, they, they, they want to try and project uh, the, the leadership and the organization which will uh, attract back those members or those sympathizers or those supporters to say we want those people to come back to the organization. While they do that, they must try and retain the black, mm. uh, what you call supporters. Mm. So this quandary they are faced with uh, in terms of uh, attracting uh, and bringing back the members that they've lost to to Freedom Front, but mm. also whatever they do, they, they, they need to make sure that they don't lose the, 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 the black uh, leaders or rather the black m uh, members who are within the party or the potential supporters who might join them. In terms of the, the leadership of the DA, we have been told that uh, uh, Stan Hazen is just an, an interim leader. Mm. They are going to the policy uh, policy conference sometimes in April mm. and uh, sometimes in May they will go to the elective conference. Mm. So there we will see who they are going to elect. However, I know that Stine has in definitely wants that position. Mm. He, will, uh, he will raise his hand to, to lead the party. 
Uh, but as I'm saying that, unfortunately, uh, he hasn't been seen uh, much during yes. this uh, interim yes. period. Now, the last time we spoke, <coughs> Doc, you did mention that the DA needs to future orientate and tackle issues of race, uh, yeah. economic transformation, yes. uh, cohesion within its party, and then social cohesion as well, especially given its declining performance in the recent polls. What kind of distinctive leadership qualities would this person need to possess to take the party forward? Well, you need someone who will, who, who will think, I mean, by or with his, uh, with the, by his feet. Mm. You know, in other words, someone, who, a leader who's grounded. You need a leader who's grounded, uh, a leader who's not going to be told what to do because there are so many actors and strong leaders within DA, uh, people who like to, you know, influence and tell uh, a leader what to do. So you need a very strong leader here, a leader who's courageous uh, and a leader who's resilient, uh, someone who will have an ability to bounce back during yes. setbacks, yes. you know, because unfortunately uh, in leadership uh, it will always n or it won't, it won't always be, you know, uh, uh, you, it won't be flat. Yes. Uh, uh, there will be those times when, you know, you have to climb the mountains mm. and uh, mm. uh, so you've got to be strong uh, when tough times comes. But also you need a leader or a quality of a person who will have the ability to, to, to interpret times and mm. conditions. Mm. Someone will be able to, 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 to predict future and anticipate problems and, and barriers and, 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 and provide solutions uh, within yes. the party. So mm. we saw Helen Ziller's re-entry into this party a few months ago, three or four months ago, in a very strategic post as FedEx chair. But for many in the country, she's still a very polarizing figure, Doc, especially if we take into account her tweets and posts on social media, etc., often controversial. Uh, one starts to wonder if she actually understands the full impact of this sort of commentary uh, and these kind of provocative tweets, what they really have on the reconciliation project. Well, that was one of the, 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 the great... Uh, quality that would be needed from the the, 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 the new leader. Uh, one of them is to is, is to manage or to lead Helen Ziller, mm. uh, because she's a, a very tough and strong leader. Mm. Uh, she did promise to stay in her own lane. Uh, obvious time will tell whether mm. she'll be able to do that. So you will need a leader who will be strong uh, to neutralize her and also to put her into her own place. Uh, otherwise. She might, you might, she might uh, find herself uh, usurping and taking over the whole uh, leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, so you need a leader who will be very, very strong there. Uh, in terms uh, of before the, uh, I let you go, <coughs> Doc, uh, we were seeing visuals on the clip before of Musi Maiman Mane busy in Chatsworth, south of Durban, <coughs> trying to promote his movement for change. Now, uh, we know that in the last by-election, Chatsworth Ward 71 was won by the ANC. That's an ANC stronghold. It was actually won by Praveen Vadan, a 26-year-old human rights lawyer. Mm -hmm. And for the majority of people living in Chatsworth, they have a renewed hope and confidence in the ANC leadership under President Cyril Ramaphosa. What is Musi Maimane hoping to achieve in a community like Chatsworth when he takes his message of movement for change to people there? Well, probably trying to garner attraction, to garner, traction, garner support, bring them back uh, for his new movement. Uh, Musi is in a, 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 a very difficult position right now because mm. he wants to assert himself. Mm. He, he, he left DA and when he left DA, he thought he would be able to work together with uh, Herman Mashaba. But Ma Herman Mashaba went ahead mm. uh, with his own thing and then he, he started his own uh, new party and Musi is doing his own thing on the side. So you can find that unfortunately they, they, they haven't found one another to say, let's work together. They are trying to do that, but remember, these are strong leaders, mm. two strong yes. leaders. My, 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 my suspicion uh, is that when Musil left DA, 
he thought he will work with uh, Herman Mashaba and Herman Mashaba would give him the leadership position because obviously he's the one who was leading DA before. But Herman is a very strong leader for himself. Uh, he wants to do his, I mean, his own thing and then Musi uh, is trying to build his own movement on the other side. So he's in a very precarious position right now uh, to to make sure that he is certain to mm -hmm. build this, uh, this movement that he's trying to to establish. All right, Dirk, very quickly before I let you go, for a long time the Democratic Alliance in the country could boast about really its continual national growth. But of course, given its decline at the polls, that narrative is in tatters. What does it need to do from a leadership perspective uh, to reclaim uh, some of its former glory, if you want to call it that? And uh, when the DA next uh, elects its uh, full leadership, top leadership, what will South Africans be looking for? Because we will notice and comment uh, on the extent to which this top leadership reflects a diverse South Africa. Yeah. Well, mainly two things. One, leadership. Right. Uh, remember, the leadership sets the tone. It, it, it defines the direction. Uh, it inspires confidence. It builds uh, trust. Um, so you need a leader there who will bring back, uh, uh, will inspire confidence within DA. Mm. Uh, because DA right now, they need a, a, an organizational renewal. Uh, some comes of some, I mean, kind of unity and cohesion within itself. So that, that leadership, the strong leadership, uh, it will be a key for TA. Secondly, the policies. Obviously, as they are going to that policy conference, mm -hmm. they need to make sure that they, they emerge with policy that will resonate with the, with, with the public, with the mm -hmm. society, in terms of race, in terms of inequality, affirmative action, triple BE, the land issue, uh, and, and all those uh, sensitive policies. Mm -hmm. So that will really be the key for DA, what kind of policies they will, they will craft there uh, in terms of getting more people for them. Mm. Doc, thank you so much for your insights on the mm. SABC News Desk. Uh, leadership expert Dr. Mazwe Mojola mm. joining us this afternoon. Let's move on. South African Police Services has made a Port Elizabeth woman's dream of...